What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to be looking at the Instagram Graph API Insights with Python. We're going to write ourselves a script called Insights. When we run the script, we're going to get the latest post and the Insights endpoint will allow us to get insights on our latest post. Here's my latest post. We can get the engagement for the post, the impressions of the post, the reach. We can also get the daily user account insights on the user's account. The followers that they gained, the impressions on their account, profile views, and the reach for the day. In this video, we're just focusing on the Insights API endpoint. I'm picking up where I left off from my previous videos. In those videos, I go over how to get access tokens, set up a Facebook app in order to be able to make these calls. And this is all on GitHub. I'm in my blog code repository, Instagram Graph API folder, the Python folder. In here, I'm gonna create an Insights script. And I'm gonna open up my defines file, because we're gonna need some things from there. And then the new script Insights. So I'll give you guys a quick overview of my defines file, which um, I'll go over in more detail in my previous videos. We have a git creds function, which is just a dictionary of all the things that we need in order to hit the API. We have things like access tokens, client IDs, client secrets, endpoints, page IDs, account IDs. Then we have our make API call function, where we pass the URL and the endpoint parameters for the git request to the endpoint. And we return the response from Instagram. That is our defines file we need to import the git creds and the make API call function for use in our insights script. Now we have access to these two functions. Before we can get the insights on a post, we need to actually get the post. The first function I'm going to define is git user media. The format for the git user media endpoint looks like this. We hit graph.facebook.com, API version, the Instagram user ID, slash media. That's the endpoint and we'll get back to the first page of the user's media. We lose the first post on the page, get the ID, and then pass that ID to the insights endpoint. I'm going to set up my endpoint params dictionary. And the first endpoint params we have is our fields. This is specifying all the things you want to get back for the media object itself. So we want to get back the ID, caption, media type, media URL, link to the media, the thumbnail URL, timestamp, and the username who made the post. And like with everything, we need to pass along our access token, and that is going to be coming in from our params dictionary. Those are the endpoint parameters we need, fields and the access token. Then we can set up our URL from our defines file. And this is going to be our endpoint base, everything up to the graph API version. In our defines file, we have our endpoint base, domain, version, slash endpoint base, add on the Instagram account ID, IG user ID right here, which is also going to come from our defines file right here. And last but not least, we got a tag on media. Everything up till the question mark is our URL. And we can return our make API call function. And we pass in the URL, the endpoint params dictionary, and then the params debug. So that's our user media function. Let's give that a call. And we're going to define some params here, and we're going to get creds. This is our dictionary creds from our defines file, returning all of this, which is then passed into our get user media function. Now that we have our response here, we can display stuff out on the command line. And we're going to use the first post on the page. Response data is returning us the first page of posts for that user. So we're going to print out a bunch of stuff that we just got back. For our latest post, we're going to see the link to the post, the caption, and the media type, and when it was posted. Hop over to the command line and run our script. We're displaying out the latest post that we had just got back from the Instagram Graph API. Verify this by checking it out in the browser. This is the link to my most recent post on Instagram. And there it is. We've displayed the latest post. Now what we're really focused in on here is the, the latest media ID. This is going to be the ID from our response. Now the most recent post ID we've made is stored in our params dictionary under the key latest media ID. With that ID, we can call our next function. We're going to create a function, get media insights, 
and we're going to pass in our params dictionary, which now contains the latest media ID. Under our first function, we're going to create our get media insights function. And let's get the format for that. Our base domain, graph API version. Here's where we got to pass in the media ID slash insights, which is the endpoint for any media ID. Then we have a metric variable, which is things like impressions, reach. We specify that with a comma separated string. I'm going to copy my dictionary from above. Paste that right there. Fields is now metric. Now the metric is different in that if the metric ID is for an image or a video, then the metric uh, comma separated string is going to be different. So we're actually going to pass this in, in our params, just like that. Let's hop down here right before we pass this in. We're going to check on the media type. Right here is our media type. If video equals the media type, otherwise it's an image. So in case of video, we're going to get back engagement, impressions, reach, saved, and video views. Then we're going to copy that into our else, and we have to remove the video views. If you try to hit the endpoint with this in there, you will get an error. This is why we can't pass in all of these for each media type. Our metric is in our params dictionary. Then, of course, we need the access token. Then we can define our URL and return the info from Instagram. The URL endpoint base, everything up till here. Then we're going to do params, and we're going to do our latest media ID slash insights. Then we make our API call. Now in our response, we have a bunch of insights on our media object, on our media ID. And this section is latest post insights. This response returns an array of all of these things. So we're going to loop over each one and display out their values. Each one of these that we pass along in our comma separated string, we're going to display the title for that insight, the period, and then we display out the value for that title and period. Hop back to our command line, let's run it again, and uh, we see an error. Video, why did we miss the, did we not write our if statement correctly? Let's see, yeah, we, there, gotta have that. Try this again. There we go. Under our latest post now, we can see the insights for that post. We can see the engagements it had, the impressions, the reach, and the saved. Now, the last thing we want to get is insights into the actual user's account. We're going to call this function get user insights. We'll copy our get media insights function and change it to get user insights the structure for this one. Again, base domain, graph API version. Instead of media ID though, we pass user ID. Basically, you're just passing in a user ID instead of a media ID, like we did for the get media insights. Copy the rest. This metric is now going to be hard-coded right in this function. We want to get the follower count, the impressions, profile views, and the reach. Then we can specify a period. I'm going to do it by day. Then, of course, we need an access token. Oh, I missed the copy up here on the period part. So let's put that in here, too. There we go. Our endpoint params dictionary set up. Then we can define our URL endpoint base. And instead of the latest media ID, we're going to use our Instagram account ID. Slash insights. And we should have our user insights. Down here, we're going to do another for loop. This section is called daily user account insights. And again, the response is very similar. We're looking for each insight in the data. And we're going to also use the same print statement in that for loop. Title, period, and the value for that period. And then we're going to loop over each value. And that should do it for the daily user account insights. Hop back over to the command line, run it again. Now at the bottom, under the post insights, we have our daily user account insights. Our follower counts, impressions, profile views, and the reach. 
And that is going to wrap up our Instagram Graph API insights with Python video. We wrote ourselves a script where we got the most recent post. We used the ID for that post to get insights on the post. And then we displayed out the daily account insights for the user's account. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.